What's going on YouTube? Stuart Oak here, DN Dual Commentary today. Using Prophecy Open, uh, I don't know, pretty uh, cloggy, I guess, I don't know. But, you know, he w he decided to go first, you know, I still technically am plus one. Every time I go for Crescent, every single time, I never get, you know, the card I want. Never. And he flips summons, I don't know if you saw, that was really fast. Ice Hand and Trap Tricks die on Nay. Goes for a random giant hand, and I'm like, okay, wonderful. Top deck justice, so that's good, but still, if he has like an artifact sanctum, then that's not really going to be the best for me. I potted duality into, uh, god, I forgot what I potted duality into. I th think it might have been the wisdom, I don't really know. But anyway, at this point, I'm just filling up, filling up my graveyard for fate and just hoping he doesn't have like an artifact sanctum, since I pretty much know that's hat. I grab um, the blue boy for next turn, attack over that. And it's like I got the wisdom, so I mean, unless you have the sanctum, thankfully he doesn't. I add the the eternity because you know I just if I activate his effect in the end phase, he's gonna have too many cards in hand, so I might as well just fade one of them now. And you know, since I'm already you know up on resources, you know, might as well I fade a bluff dichotomy. That's the thing with dichotomy; it can definitely be dead at times. You know, I was still kind of wondering what that other set is. Either way, his turn he goes Dione into Dione and to uh god that guy is a long name but this new guy who actually <laughs> let's um puts me in such a struggle because you know when when i activate priestess you know he can just use this effect and then like target one of the artifacts and then that could just kill the priestess so i gotta be really really careful especially with only 2400 life points left and i'm really low on you know just cards in general or lo low on traps in general not cards but you know sometimes you know this deck's been going actually really good for me, when I'm recording this video, I'm like freaking in like top 80 on Dueling Network, which I mean isn't that much because the format just started and stuff, and you know I've been higher. But you know the fact that it's day two in the format, and you know I've already, you know I've at least had some success with Prophecy is pretty good. Anyway, he goes for oh my god, what what did he do? Oh yeah, he went Sanctum for more tech, obviously, so it's really unfortunate, and I have to kill my own blue boy in order to stay into this game so I can life main phase 2 and then I can just sit on that and of course I can't activate his effect I set a whole bunch of bluffs just in case he wants to dark war or something but I just um yeah set that he goes for ice hand he goes soul charge into ice hands which is perfectly fine with me because now I don't have to worry about him finding a way to win and now I can just get another like plus 2 off my um tower and draw phase and now I drew into Phoenix chain dimensional prism some really nice traps to get into and my fate's back in deck, so now I can go for, you know, pretty much I can go for my fate again. And, um, yeah, I attack into that because I have to get past that because I cannot let him use it. Cannot let him to use that effect, if you know what I mean. Main phase two, killed uh, the more attack. And I'm like, sure, you want to break through skill, be my guest. Like, breakthrough skill hardly does anything against prophecy. Like, especially if you go first and you open breakthrough skill, you start with five cards, and then if you use breakthrough skill... That, I mean, that's technically a neg one. You're already, like, neg two for the game. That's just not that good, in my opinion. Anyway, I go Spellbook of Fate on the Ice Hand just in case he wants to go Excite All Night and go for, like, a, um, like a Wire Tech. Because I do have a Fiendish Chain, but the thing is I would rather save the Fiendish Chain than just... Because I'm pretty sure, like, the one card he has set isn't going to do anything. But anyway, yeah, I just win from there. Just all the advantage with Tower... I side in those wire taps. I actually open really good. He goes first again. And, you know, I actually, um, yeah, I side in the wire taps. Again, he goes for the, the, whatever it's called, the thing I was just talking about, breakthrough skill. And it, that just, it was just a free plus for me. That's obviously a hand set, so I don't really want to, you know, attack it. I grab the fate for now, and then I just sit on just all my back row with fate, tower, phoenix chain, and compulse. He flips some of the ice hand, then he normal summons another one pretty much forced to activate master to set my guy unfortunately kind of really don't want to to be honest but he flips face up i already have eternity so i go for secrets and like i said i do side deck the wiretaps for hat it's been going so well it's like it's either the decree or the wiretaps but you know i do play a lot of traps so i decided to side to wiretap and it's like uh it's just it's so good against you know um whatever it's called hat you know, I personally have a, uh, a big fan of the the build I have right now of Prophecy. I've been playing, like, some different, you know, cards. I decided to just only play one Eternity just because, you know, sometimes you can just get really cloggy. I dropped Wisdom down to two. 
I'm playing two power just because if you can open justice and power, you can still, you know, get the more consistent first turn justice plays. Anyway, he goes for Sanctum again. That will kill whatever. And I'm, I'm at 66. I'm thinking about, should I just fiendish it or not? I end up taking all the damage. I'm still at 17, still in a decent position. Main phase two, he goes for uh, Rhapsody and Berserk. And he wiretap. I go evac, then I wiretap his wiretap. Which I don't know if that play was really worth it. I mean, I guess it would get rid of all my, you know, cards in the graveyard. But the thing is, like, I don't know if it was worth like losing those two ice hands or not. I don't really know. But anyway, I go for secrets in, for the, in the magician. Grab eternity to you know fill up my graveyard faster. Because since I have a master's vanished, just go for that. Reveal that, and then go right in for power yep that's exactly what i do and at this point you know i'm just oh well here he malevolent catastrophes i'm like sure be my guest be my guest in malevolent catastrophe i just get out a free justice from my deck and then that yeah. can activate in the end phase and then i have fate i end up setting fate and wisdom just in ca just in case he wants to get lucky with the blind mst but, you know either way he has two cards in hand i have a priestess for next current turn and just um just a whole bunch of plays and he just didn't miss the feet anyway pretty nice game in my opinion thank you guys for watching i know people were requesting more duels so i wanted to you know record another one so thank you guys for watching and this is two dog signing out